Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. I hope you guys are doing good and enjoying the SQL interview preparation series. So today I am back with another interesting problem. This problem has been part of Netflix data analyst interview. In this video, we will be discussing this problem. For your ease, I have divided this video into three parts. In the first part, we will be understanding the problem. We will be exploring the ask of this problem and using that, I will be writing some pointers that we are going to refer later. In the second part, we will be discussing the approach which can lead us to fabricate the final solution. In the third part, we will be writing the final solution or the final query. But before getting started, do not forget to hit the subscribe button as on my YouTube channel, I keep on sharing content like this which can help you to crack any data interview. And by subscribing, you will not miss any update regarding my new videos. So let's get started. So first of all, let's understand this problem. Let me read the problem statement for you guys. For each video, we need to find how many unique users flagged it. A unique user can be identified using the combination of their first name and the last name. Also, we are supposed to not consider rows in which there is no flag ID. So basically, this problem is around Netflix data. So all of us know that Netflix is an application where we can watch videos. So in case a person or a user has any concern regarding a particular video, he can raise a flag against it. So this problem statement is around that only. And we need to find out for a particular video, how many unique users have flagged it. So first of all, let me make some pointers that we are going to refer later. So the first pointer is in the select statement, what we are supposed to find out. We are supposed to find out the video, video ID and the count of users who have flagged it. So now moving ahead, are we going to use the whole data? So the answer is no, because it is mentioned that do not consider rows in which there is no flag ID. So basically we need to filter out those records where flag ID is blank. So I can write it as a pointer. Flag ID is null. So this is the where condition that we are going to use in our final query. Now the third thing is since we need to find out the count of user who have flagged it. So since there is an aggregate function used. So obviously there will be some grouping happening. Now we need to group our data or we need to find the count of users around which data point. So we need to find it around the video ID. So for every video we need to find out how many users have raised flags against, against it. So we need to group by our data with respect to the video ID. So now moving ahead, let's explore the data set. So in this problem statement, we just have one table that is user underscore flags. Let's explore the data points. So basically in this table, we have four data points, user first name, user last name, video ID and flag ID. So let's take a preview of this data. All right. So we have user first name, last name, video ID and flag ID. Now let's go back to our pointers and see what do we have and what do we need to find out. So first of all, we have video ID. So video ID is available in this data set. Second thing is we need to find out the count of users who have flagged it. Also, we need to find out the count of distinct users as per the problem statement. We need to find out the unique users, right? So we need to find out the count of distinct users who have flagged a particular video. So now video ID is something which is present in the data set and we can use this data point as it is. But how to find this count of distinct users who have flagged it? Now looking at the data, we can see there are two columns, user underscore first name and user underscore last name. But think of a situation when two different users have similar first name or similar last name. In that case, counting either first name or counting either last name will not be sufficient to find the distinct users. So that is a challenge here. So now in order to tackle this challenge, what we can do? So basically we can use these two columns to create a new column by the name full name, which will be a combination of these two columns that that is first name plus last name can give us full name. And by using that, we can identify the distinct user. Now moving to the second pointer that is flag ID is null. So we have flag ID and we can use it in the query as it is. 
third point is grouping by video id so in the select statement we are using video id and we can use group by video id in the query so now let's move ahead and write the final solution of this problem so in the select statement we'll be using video id now we will be using the concatenation of these two different columns and then we need to count the distinct users so for for that i will be using count function now i want the distinct users so i will i will be using distinct now what what we are supposed to do we need to concatenate these two different columns so let's use concatenate now we need to concatenate first name and the last name but the challenge here is that there are some entries where there are nulls that is for example in this case the last name is null right similarly there are cases where first name is null so in order to tackle this challenge we can use a new function here the new function that we are going to use here is if null so the argument that we are going to pass in that function is first name and last name so by passing these arguments it will return so if the first name or last name is having some value it will return that and if in case the first name or last name is null in that case it will return a blank value so let's proceed with it if null so in this i will be passing user underscore first name so if there is some value in this column it will return that else it will return a blank value right now the second argument of concat function is last name so i will be using if null user last name now again right let me check for the brackets uh, all right now let's give some alias to this calculation as unique users i'll say so now from so here we just have one table and we will be using that user underscore flags now referring to this point we need to filter the records where flag id is null so basically i will be using a where clause here where flag id is not null so basically in our calculation or in our query we need to filter out those records where flag id is not null and finally we need to group our counting with respect to the video id so either we can use the video id or we can use one so now let's execute this to see the final output all right so here we are getting the video id and the corresponding unique users who have flagged the videos so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like it in case you like this video do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this also if you have any problem which has been asked to you in any interview and you want me to make a solution video on that please do share it in the comment section also you can reach out to me on my instagram handle or my whatsapp number you can find these details in the description section below if i feel the problem statement is good enough and it can help others to clarify their doubts or sql concepts i'll surely make a video on that thank you for watching